my channel. Welcome back to my international kitchen where I showcase some of the meals that I've had the privilege of enjoying around the world. If you're new to my channel, welcome on board. I'm so happy to have you here with me. And uh, feel free to subscribe and also go back to the channel and view some of the videos that I've posted uh, in the past. Welcome to episode number four, which also happens to be Thai food. Yes, I know, I know. I love Thai food and I keep repeating that. Today's episode is probably going to be the last in uh, last of Thai food. Last for now, because I'm still going to be making more in the future. But then I'm going to concentrate on a different country after this. So on today's menu, we're going to be making Thai fried rice, spicy Thai fried rice, which is so, so simple to make and I'm so, so excited to do it. So let's get cooking. Our ingredients today are well prepared in advance. We have spring onions and coriander. And this is also spring onions that I cut into tiny, tiny bits because that's what we're going to be using for the garnishing. And then we have cucumber, we have white onion, we have two eggs, we have chicken, which are prepared by seasoning it with fish sauce and some bit of salt so the seasoning is supposed to be done in advance just to have the chicken marinated a bit before you get to the actual cooking then just leave it to settle for a while and the next thing we have in the ingredients is about four cloves of garlic and this is a blend of tomato and uh, about three chilies as you can see there then we have fish sauce lime juice we have thai basil then classic soy sauce and the last thing we're going to you to need is a dark soy sauce and that's all for the ingredients that we're going to be using to make spicy thai fried rice you can choose to add more chilies if you want to have it a bit more spicy but i think that's going to be enough for us to use for today and then the last thing that we're going to definitely need is the rice which i have boiled in advance We'll start off by frying our two eggs. We're going to do this and then set them aside because we're only going to need them at the last step of the fried rice. And there's two options for the eggs. You can either choose to scramble them as we are doing today or you can just have them fried full and then place them on top of the rice afterwards if you don't want to have them in the mix. But I think it looks much better if you have the fried egg inside the rice. So that's what we're going to be doing for this time. And then on the same pan, we're going to be adding in some bit of oil that's going to be sufficient for the whole stir fry. And start off with the chicken and cook the chicken until it gets to golden brown. And we don't add in a lot of chicken because we don't want it to be the main focus of the rice. Remember, it's supposed to be fried rice. And also since we're going to be adding eggs at the end, we don't want the rice to have too much protein. And again, as I said, the focus should solely be on the rice and not necessarily on the meat. And when we get what we want, we're going to be going in with the next step, which is the onions and the garlic. And we'll cook this until the garlic is golden brown. Next, we're going to add in our tomato and chili mixture. Just leave a little bit of this to use later on in the garnishing. So if you want, you can actually make more of this, but uh, we're going to just use that for now. Stir that in completely until you get all the tomatoes fully cooked. Then we're going to be ready to add in our rice after that. At this point, we're going to turn the heat all the way down because we're only going to need very little heat. Then we can add in our sauces from here on. We're going to start off with the classic soy sauce. And then for the color, we're going to add the dark soy sauce. You can measure these according to how brown you want your rice to be. I like to have it very brown for now, so that's what we're going to use. 
and then for my all-time favorite is the fish sauce and again for this you can measure it according to how how much flavor you want in your rice then you also want to avoid stirring this too much because we don't want the rice to mash up just give it a nice mixture to have the rice get as much of the sauce as possible but try your best not to turn it aggressively and when that's done we'll be ready to add in our vegetables starting with the Thai basil and my Thai basil today is frozen but it makes no difference because the flavor is still as rich as, as if it was fresh then stir that again very very lightly without turning the rice too much then add in the spring onions and coriander at this point. And finally, we are ready to add in our eggs. And this is why I said I like to have my scrambled eggs in the rice because it just gives it a really nice color. Just adds to the overall look and taste of the fried rice, which is very attractive. And after giving that a final stir, we have what we call Thai fried rice, which looks so amazing, tastes so amazing. It's so easy, so, so easy to make. And you can have this with whatever other side that you'd like to have it with. You can choose to have it with either a yogurt sauce or vegetables or basically anything because it can go with uh, anything. And you can also easily have it by itself because it is a complete meal on its own. And as you very well know, I am all about the presentation. So you're going to add some little bit of garnishing for it to look as best as it can. Then after adding the tomatoes, we're going to be adding the sauce that we put aside. This is the tomato and chili sauce. Just to add that bit of final look that is so attractive. And then present this with some of the lime juice on the side. When you have this meal with lime juice, it just adds that citrusy taste, which completes the taste in the best way possible. And that's it, my friends. That's what we call spicy Thai fried rice. It was such, such a joy to make this meal today. It looks amazing, tastes amazing, and this would definitely wow your guests or your family. The flavors you get from the Thai basil and from the fish sauce make it so, so rich. So I would really, really love to know if you guys would try it out, if you try to make it. And let me know how your process has been or what you think of the taste. Let me know in the comments section below and also tell me anything else that you added or what you chose to have it with. And that's the end of today's video. It was such a joy to have you guys join me for this. See you on my next video. Bye-bye. So on today's menu we are going to be making 